Hello everybody, this is just a quick look through the new books that we have from Patricia Hadley in Braid or Opus. So over here you'll see the Lax Repertory. Um, if you click on the drop down arrow you get the chapters, starting with Miasms, going into Themes. So already you can see this is new information um, about the Lax Remedies and very useful to so another way to get to the chapters is to use the navigation window. <clears throat> so you see it's also got affinities. You can go into that chapter and see. So vertigo, lac maternum is underlined. So let's say we wanted to <clears throat> search for lac maternum from here. If I right click, I can search for the remedy in all open documents. Then you see in the repertory here from Patricia Hatherley, there's 1,438 rubrics compared with in synthesis 113. So you can see already that <clears throat> there's a lot more information about the remedy and it will certainly um, become easier to, to find it in a repertorization. Over here we also have the Physician's Guide to uh, Lactation, which has been in the program for a while. but um, is available now as part of a bundle or um, you can buy it individually as well and then we have in the Materia Medica of the LAX so if I double click here now go to the book and you can see there's a um, nice picture as well included so it starts with these sort of key aspects of the remedy and then if I press F3 now I'll get the um, chapters for Black maternum, and I can see here themes. So this disconnection between spirit and physical body. Okay, so you know that's uh, just a little introduction there. I've got here a little demonstration of a repertorization I made. So what I did was to search for all of these words in all repertories and then combine the results using um, our other new feature which allows that very easily so um, we've already made videos on that feature and hopefully you're all using it and making the most of that uh, already so you can see here the repertorization is limited to to the milks I can remove that there and you can see already lactonum and lactodelphinum are in that repertorization anyway but if I put the limitation on then I'll see uh, some of these other remedies coming through as well so like maybe this one search for this one in all open documents then we'll see milk of the African elephants this is in the materia medica and I can double click to go to that point in the book and it gives a nice keynote essence here and moves on to the themes the miasm some generalities and onto the mind section. Okay, so this is information that is really useful for us and that we haven't really had much access to up until now. So um, moving on, let's have another look at the repertory. I just want to show you, um, there's a tool here which <coughs> allows us to extract statistics from the repertory. So we can look at the first 50 polycrests, for example. So you see lac caninum obviously has the biggest number of rubrics being that it's been around the longest. Um, so this is quite interesting and shows you just how big and expansive the repertory is. Um, and if I just come back here, I'll also look at the number of rubrics. So you see the mind section has over 2,000 rubrics. <coughs> the dreams coming up to 3,000. Okay. And you can also go back to the repertory and look at a occurrence of a particular remedy too. And this gives you a guide as to the sort of affinities of the remedy. There we go, Lactolinum. Head and eye, which um, come out from the classical provings. Okay, so hopefully that has whetted your appetite for... Uh, these new books, uh, there's a repertory, a materia medica of the lax, um, the Phys physician's guide to lactation, 
and also the Milk Matters newsletter. So I've opened my references <coughs> and I can type Milk Matters. If I click this option, I can see these are all the years where the um, newsletter came out. And you can see the articles here, so some fantastic cases here that will also be useful in your practice, I'm sure. So um, anyway, hope you're all well, and that's it from me for now. Bye-bye.